What's going on guys? This is United WWE coming at you with another video. Tonight we're going to be talking about the WWE brand split. It looks like July 19th is the day to mark down because on that day Smackdown will be going live. Yes, on a Tuesday Smackdown will now be live on the USA Network. This is just, this is just unbelievable guys. I'm, uh, I came home um, saw it on YouTube, you know, Stephanie and Shane had a teaser video where they're actually talking about in the video who will be in charge of SmackDown. I think it could be Shane McMahon, but I think, then again, I think Shane is probably the bigger name out of Stephanie and Shane. So, I think they'll probably put Shane on Raw and Stephanie on SmackDown because, you know, Stephanie has a, she's actually been GM of SmackDown before. So, maybe they'll put her back on SmackDown. Maybe she enjoys a... Uh, you know, that schedule of working on SmackDown, maybe it works well for her, maybe she gets to see her family more, whatever, I'm sure they'll find out uh, what they have to do, but I think Stephanie could be in charge of SmackDown, Shane in charge of Raw, that's the way I would probably book it, but either way, I wouldn't really mind, maybe they'll get someone completely different in, you know, maybe we see someone like, I don't know, Mick Foley or someone like that come in, I think that would be great, but uh yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy they're mixing things up. And this summer really does look like it could be one of the biggest in WWE history. Because, you know, think about it. We have so many returns. We have John Cena coming back. Seth Rollins just came back. John, massive return. Randy Orton could be coming back soon. Uh, I think I'm missing someone. But, uh, yeah, guys, John, there's a lot of big names coming back. We could see the likes of Finn Balor debut. Um, yeah, the club, you know, AJ Styles. Everything's just co coming together nicely, John. The roster is coming together at a really nice time. And I think it's the perfect time to do this brand split. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited, guys. Um, John, I'm trying to think in my head who I'd have on each show. You know, if I was in control of who was on Raw and who was on SmackDown. John, I'd also have to think about commentators. Um, something I'd really like to see, okay, Re re really, 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 really want to see is a new Titantron for both show. I don't know how many times I've said this on Twitter, but I am so fucking tired of seeing that Titantron on Raw and SmackDown and all the pay-per-views. You know, it just, it just looks so lazy because all they need to do is just change the design on the electronic board or whatever the fuck they call it. Um, the HD Tron or something they call it, I don't know, but you know, back in the day we had the Oval Titan Tron, the Fist even on SmackDown, you know, on Raw you had the cool different designs and like you knew like when you tuned in you were watching Monday Night Raw just by the Titan Tron or something but now like you even you've seen replays from me if you don't see the blue or red ropes you're not sure too sure because you know the Titan Tron is the fucking exact same on both shows and maybe that sounds like a stupid excuse but you know I want to see a new Titan Tron because they've had this the same one for far too long probably since 2006 or 2007 so uh, yeah new Titan Tron it looks like we're getting a new roster for bro, uh, both shows of course we are it's a fucking brand split it's a draft so I'm super excited I'm so excited fucking have my cap on backwards i don't know why i never fucking wear my cap on backwards but uh yeah guys i am super excited for this and um, leave your comments down below let me know who would you have on both shows so who would you have on smackdown who would you have on raw who would your commentators be and uh yeah guys looks like we'll get plenty of wrestling this summer so we're talking about maybe a pay-per-view maybe two pay-per-views a month on the network maybe a raw pay-per-view a smackdown pay-per-view John, so we could have on a Sunday night, we could have a pay-per-view. Then on a Monday, of course, this could be once a month, maybe we have a pay-per-view. Then on, that's three and a half hours on a Sunday. Then we have three hours of Raw on a Monday. Then we have two hours of SmackDown on Tuesday, all live. So that is a lot of fucking wrestling to get through. Uh, I'm hoping Raw does not stay at three hours because three hours is just far too much. Please go back to two hours. That would be great. Yeah, guys, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Make sure to go uh, follow me on Twitter at UnitedWWE underscore. Link is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.